What's up everybody? It's your girl Lance with BH Capital Enterprises coming to you with another video topic. Um, keeping it right with Thinkorswim, which is one of my favorite platforms when it performs the way that it should be, should, or at least the way that it used to some years ago. But anyway, um, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Hit that bell to make sure you get notified whenever I drop a new video. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up, you know, leave a comment, send me an email, lance at bhcapitalenterprises.com. Make sure you visit my website if you have questions about what I offer, bhcapitalenterprises.com. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about research within the Thinkorswim platform, something that I think is, is really cool. Um, Thinkorswim does a really great job, in my opinion, of extracting important financial data or not just financial data, but data about companies, publicly traded companies. Um, but first off, I want to start with um, a question that was raised by one of my um, current uh, HTOA participants. Um, and HTOA is just my uh, six week uh, workshop centered on technical analysis, uh, specifically charts. Um, and I teach you how to use a very successful strategy uh, to um, trade uh, options or Forex or whatever using your ability to read charts. So anyway, um, the question that was raised was basically uh, centered around being able to look up companies based on industry. So you can do that in Thinkorswim. Uh, just go to Market Watch. And if you go to indices, you can go to the Russell 2000, NASDAQ 100, Dow Jones, S&P 100, S&P 500. Um, I don't think there's a section down here where you can do it by industry like you can on a watch list. But anyway, um, so if you want to look at S&P, you just click this here drop down menu um, it's got the different uh, segments or sectors within the S&P 500 you know the sectors that are represented um, let's go with uh, healthcare for example you got uh, it further breaks down into um, more niche uh, industries within this sector um, and let's just say we do you know healthcare whatever that says let me bring it out a little bit Healthcare, uh, what do we do? Healthcare providers. Um, and so then that breaks down even more. So let's just do healthcare services. So then it just gives you tickers, right? So then you learn, okay, these are the tickers in the S&P 500 within the healthcare sector, but within the uh, healthcare services industry. Um, so pretty simple, um, very, very simple. You can do the same with you know any any of the um, the sections here, and it'll just give you a list of tickers. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, so I decided to uh, share that with you guys. But let's get on to the research part. So um, years ago, I I noticed that um, you know just browsing through my um, Thinkorswim mobile app, some tickers would have a company profile and with the company profile I could go under the company profile and it would give a breakdown of the company's re revenues segments and other important information um, when it comes to learning about that particular company so it's you, you don't really know without looking up tickers which companies have that um, company profile section so as you can see, I have Tilray up here that you don't see anything that states company profile. But let me pull up um, Apple. Okay. And here it is. You see company profile, I click on company profile, and you can see um, the divisions of Apple and it shows how that, um, how its revenue is broken down by segment. Um, you can show as a percentage of market cap or just show the estimated value. Um, so it shows you, you know, as you can see, valuation highlights, company overview, uh, what it has coming, 
um, some important things going on you know Apple has been transitioning from Intel so Apple was using Intel and Qualcomm for the longest and so for the last several years Apple has been working to take its chip uh, production in-house um, so yeah so this is a, a pretty cool um, feature within Thinkorswim that you can um, take advantage of and use as a piece of your research um, so yeah so how do I find out which companies or which tickers have this this company profile um, function go to market watch we're back to where we started um, go to uh, let's see public public uh, so these are public watch lists and you go down to the section that says company profile um, and then this breaks the, that section down by uh, what industries are represented um, in the company profile section so we're just gonna go with the first um, few we got AT&T Verizon and I'm not sure what these two tickers are um, so I'll just go and I'll type it in CHA so China, China Telecom. Well, actually, that one doesn't have company profile. Let me see. Does not have it. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it makes sense that that CHA wouldn't have it. Um, but as you can see, uh, AT and T has it. Verizon has it. Um, let's let's go back and check some more while we're at it. Entertainment, interactive, ATVI. Let's try those. Yep. So, yeah. So we got company profiles on all of those. All right. So, pretty simple. Um, great information in this section. So you guys make sure you take advantage of this, um, and use this as a part of your research. Uh, especially if you're just going to do a quick quick little overview of what's been going on with the company. That's a good resource to check out. Um, if you guys have any other questions, I'm happy to answer. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.